A lot of people have asked me to show how I make uh, the dough. So basically my first start is with pizza app. This is for five dough balls, 240 gram weight. It's going to be smaller than that because uh, you're going to lose some. 58% uh, water, 3% salt, 24 hour leavening with instant dry yeast. I've got 745 grams of Pizzeria flour, double O Caputo brand. I've got salt, uh, 22 grams. Um, good salt, Jacobson Salt Company, pure kosher sea salt. You gotta have a digital scale, obviously. And uh, that's basically it, a dough hook. First thing I'm gonna do is the salt and the water. Dissolve it by hand. The reason why I'm doing that first is because you don't want the yeast to react with the salt because it'll it'll kill the yeast, basically. And then you you add a little bit of flour just to stir it off and get it mixed up a little bit. And I like to add the flour separate or uh, slowly. And this, I kind of go high just to mix it up, get it going. You can see how it looks in there. It's real liquidy. Get a good start. Keep on adding in. flour so it incorporates into the water and I'll come up back for the next step after a little bit after it's all mixed up so this is what it looks like now. It's soup. It's flour soup. But what I'm going to do next, it's kind of the important part because you got the salt in there already. Um, I've got the rest of the, the flour. I'm going to dump the yeast in there so it doesn't interact with the salt right away. The salty dough right away. Put another quarter in maybe of it and get it going. What I'm doing is using a spatula to kick the flour off the sides. see there starting to form but it's not gonna it's not gonna form for a while I would say do this for about two or three minutes and then we're gonna add the rest of the flour okay this is what it looks like after about two minutes to get it the flour incorporated into it we're just gonna add the rest of the dough or rest of the flour in here and I'll continue to scrape the edges with a spatula start off a little slower because I don't want all the flour kicking all over place I don't want flour face flour countertops all that stuff so here's kind of how it looks right now. But it'll slowly form and all that flour on the side of the bowl here will eventually come off the side and it should, this whole side should be really clean so you don't have to, you won't have to uh, clean much 
because it'll pull it right off, but it'll take a while. This process is about 10 minutes. It's kneading. See how it's pulling it off the sides? This is about 10 minutes. And then I'll turn it up to about two. And leave it for about 10 minutes so it can knead it and get it, get the gluten's uh, stretchy. Tighten up the gluten. After about 10 minutes, this is kind of what it's going to look like. It'll be stuck to the dough hook. But you should be able to pull it off nicely. This, this mix here is really, I did five, I'm doing five dough balls. But this mixer is probably built for four or less but if you look at this all I'm, all I'm gonna do I, I mean I'm not even gonna flour the dough box at all it's just gonna sit here overnight and flattening it out a little bit because this thing is just gonna expand the whole box will be filled tomorrow now look how clean the bowl is all the dough came off all the flour came off I'm actually thinking about sneaking this back in the uh, pantry without even washing it. My wife won't even know. Just kidding. This is uh, about a 20, 19 hour fermentation so far. Basically all I'm gonna do right now is pull this out and uh, emball it. What I have to do is just flour. I, I'm doing this video because uh, I got some subscribers that wanted to see how I make the dough. Uh, so I'm just going to pull this out of here and start balling. But there's tons of balling videos so I don't want to bore you. But I set this for 240 uh, 240 gram balls but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this in a nice ball and then I'm going to weigh it because it's going to you're going to lose some some weight this is what the dough looks like after about 17 hours of fermentation uh, a lot of people uh, like to ball it at this point and right now it's about five hours before I start cooking uh, or baking the pizzas so I'm gonna try to get some of this excess air out because it'll it'll come back when right before uh, in the next five hours of fermentation so I'm just gonna weigh it and, and see how much I lost comes out to 1186 and then I'll just divide it by five and we're all set to go. So I balled the uh, about 237 grams each. I didn't try to overwork it. I wanted to get some of the air bubbles out doing basically a quarter turn folding it into itself. I wanted to get some air bubbles out because uh, you don't want those big air bubbles on your crust when you uh, bake it. And that's it. That's how you make dough. Pizza dough and dough balls. Have a great day.